Boom, peace intro, what's up guys? Well, Sunday afternoon, sorry I didn't. Oh boy, I've been so buried in these customs now, I've been letting you guys down, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I'll definitely get to these sticker drawings. Um, I had to wipe out some customs. Two of these are ready, completely. I think I got a little too much shading around the pumpkins on this one, but it still looks cool. Glass, roll like a dream. I put them big wheels on there, I think I already went over that. But I waller it out so that they, they don't rub at all, guys. And you. Anybody who's ever done these knows how hard it is to get wheels up into Silverado. The third one will be ready too. It's just, I didn't clear it till today. So, um, I can't assemble it till tomorrow. But Jake, Mr. Pruce, and Mr. Ellingson, these are all going to be ready. Two of them are ready now. All the same. All detailed underneath. I think Mr. Herrera is the only other one that has one of these. And sorry, I didn't get decals on yours, buddy, on top. I wasn't able to with that other engine. I had to trim Michael down pretty good and, and contour him around that one just to get that in. But I didn't have any of those engines, so this is the one that went in there, which still looks good. And, uh... I believe this is the one, this is uh, number one. Yeah, this is the one I was sending to Jake. So this one's yours, buddy. I, number one, I mean, it's the, I number them like I told you guys, because if there's something happens, if it gets flawed or messed up or something, you know, unless it's real bad, I'll take it apart. But um, then you just end up with whatever flaw that is. So I don't have to pick who, who do I give this messed up one to? And, uh, but anyway, I don't see anything wrong with it. Hopefully it makes it to you. Jason's in there, just like always. And, um, however, I started, I didn't know, um, number two is over there. That was for Mr. Pruce. So I didn't know who, um, the other one was going to be, who the guy was, but apparently this one is, because this is the other one. Number two is the one I got to assemble tomorrow. Um, so I guess this is Mr. Ellingson. Since he's the one I had down last. And it's it's in good shape too, guys. Um, and we're going to do Mr. Spayhart's package. This is I came out. I've done it this morning. I started doing it. So here's the thing. I've opened it and I've already went through some of the things. And then all of a sudden I hit my tablet. And it closed on me. And just messed up the whole video. And I, I was, uh, so, but I haven't got it all open. Like, there's something he's got wrapped in bubble wrap. And there's a couple boxes down there in the bottom. I haven't opened those yet, but I got some of the other stuff opened. He had it all wrapped in bubble wrap. So, we're going to start over and I'm going to show all that and then finish that. But also, I got the last horror custom done. And it's up on the site. This will give you a, it's too big to go in a regular display case. So, I had to make my own. There's the floor. Yeah, I just put some glue down. I sprinkle grass on it. I used to like to make dioramas all the time, but I tried to make them pretty cool. But uh, this is the base it'll go on. And this is the background. Camp Crystal Lake. The shot with the totem pole. That'll be right on there. It'll go down on there. So that's where the truck will be. Some of you I gave a, a, a preview of this truck to. Because um, it was done. I don't like to do that unless it's done. But anyway, let's show it to everybody now. 
up on the sticker drawing now. Sticker number seven. And it's the same sticker. This sticker. I got new stickers made. I got this one made. Chucky Child Play made. And my custom 62 Chevy made. Trying not to drop it. This one I got. I plugged the exhaust and put hooks back there for dragging. Because I got headers coming out the bottom. See them? Got headers up in there. There's the bottom. Those holes are obviously to screw it down. 3D suspension. I don't have Jason, so I couldn't put Jason inside there. And yeah, painting all those little shocks and all the little stuff. Once you look at it, you're going to see how detailed it is. And those BF Goodrich wheels, they are awesome, man. When I find them, I buy them up because they'll be gone. That's the top. It's the back. I mean, this is probably my favorite because I'm a four-wheel drive guy anyway. But I don't know. I like Chucky too. I don't. But anyway, this baby is up. I'm trying to hold it where. But it's too tall to fit in a regular display case, so I had to make my other one. And it's flawless. There's nothing wrong with it. I can't find... I mean, it's glass as well. Oh, oh play. Ah, I just splashed myself. Got welder burn. I got flash burn. Ah. I don't know any of you welders out there. You know what that is, right? Ooh-wee, flash burn. Ooh, dang, I got to cut that off. Yeah, that baby's gone, guys. Cut that sucker off, no infection. And uh, anyway, that baby's ready and it's up on the site. And uh, yeah, flash, um, that flash burn, burn your eyes. But anyway, um, back to what we were talking about. Um, that is a sweet truck. Hopefully it makes it without getting destroyed. And... Uh, who knows? So anyway, let's go ahead and finish what we were doing here. So I got the box from Mr. Stahar. And um, where did it go? Dang it. Hold on. And it kind of had a heads up. And I opened this little envelope on the side first, which I wasn't sure if it was something, but apparently it was. And it kind of goes over some things there, which I thought I laughed when I seen one of them because I made a joke about it. But I was just kidding. But anyway, uh, dear Mr. Hewitt, hi, buddy. James wanted to wish you and your, which he already told me this was mainly for my family. It's not really uh, anything um, Hot Wheel related and all, but um, I like to make videos when you guys send me stuff anyway. But anyway. Just wanted to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Just sending you and your family a few of our favorite things from across the pond for you to enjoy over Christmas. Milo. Milo is like a milkshake. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorites. I'll have to try it. I don't, I don't really drink that stuff, but I don't mind every now and then giving it a shot. Tim Tams are the best. When you get to the Vegemite, <laughs> some people like it, some don't. That's when I was a, I was just kidding, you know. Uh, you know, man, it worked. She made me a Vegemite sandwich. I never really knew what that was, but I've heard here and there from people. It's kind of disgusting, but um, some people say it's good. So I really don't know. Um, but I think it's uh some kind of old yeast or something. It. I hear it's kind of salty. I like salty things. I don't know. I may try it. I don't know. I'll have to see. But anyway, it says instructions for Vegemite. So this is kind of tricky, apparently. Instructions for Vegemite. Ha, ha, ha. One, toast your bread. Two, butter it with a lot of butter. <laughs> I don't eat either one of those things, but I, I guess I'll have to to try it. Spread a thin layer of med Vegemite and enjoy. Or not. Never eat a spoonful of it or put on bread too thick. You will know why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're already scaring me, buddy. Um, anyway, uh, 
the mugs are a special gift from my wife. I'm figuring that must be what's in the boxes on the bottom, but I didn't get that far when uh, I bumped my tablet Ooh, like that and it closed and game over. Um, so anyway, thank you to your wife. We'll see what that is. Anyway, Mr. Hewitt, all the best for the holiday season. Enjoy time with the family, and we'll keep in touch. Love always, Stephen and Mary Ann. Right on. Appreciate it. Thanks, uh, Mr. Spahar and Mary Ann. So anyway, right off the bat, I opened up this, and it was Milo. Looks like a Nestle, so it's obviously like Nestle Quick or something, but it's called Milo. So... We'll give it a shot. And then I came across the Tim Tam he was talking about. Chewy caramel. Now, I like caramel. I don't eat a whole lot of this kind of stuff, but I will definitely try one of these. And yes, you guys might be surprised because you know I don't have teeth, but I can eat anything. I don't eat an apple, and I don't eat nuts. But I can't have nuts anyway because of diverticulitis. And uh, anything else, I chew up. Boy, you'd be surprised. Um... Chit, any, so anyway, I don't even know if these are hard or not. But anyway, I'll try one of those a little later. And grandkids came through earlier and seen all this stuff that I had open. They're like, what is that? So I already know this stuff's going to go quick. And then there was some uh, a shortbread cream. Now, I do like shortbread. Only problem is, for some reason, it's it's I, I can never just eat one of them. I've never had this, obviously, are knots. Shortbread cream. Delightfully smooth cream center layered between two crumbly shortbread biscuits. Now, what is it, Lorna Dunes? I used to just like the Lorna Dune, period. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'd always eat too many shortbread. I don't know what's up with that. But, yeah, I'll definitely be trying those. I'm sure those will be good. And then there was some more Tim Tam. Original made with irresistible real chocolate. Yeah, I have a feeling they're going to destroy these. And I believe there's one more Tim Tam. Um, yeah, yeah, it's the same with chocolate. Original with chocolate. Two, two with chocolate, one caramel. And then there was Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramel Koala. So... Apparently, they're like a caramel-filled chocolate guy, chocolate koala bear. Again, I don't eat much of this, but I'll definitely try one. Um, I do like dark chocolate. I do not like milk chocolate at all. It's too sweet. I like dark chocolate. Actually, I like like 72% dark chocolate. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a shot. I mean, it's got caram caramel in it. Caramel's good. And what was that, two of those? Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Got two bags of that. I guarantee you they're going to destroy it. Then I did come across the old Vegemite, which I'm not sure. I've seen something that said this wasn't even allowed in the U.S. So we just smuggled this through customs. This is probably worse than a Cuban cigar. Heroin. They probably let the heroin go, but they're going to track this bottle of Vegemite down. You see that? He's got Vegemite. Let's go trade him for some heroin. It's okay if he has heroin. I don't know if I even want to crack the seal on that, but that's it. Good old Vegemite. B vitamins for vitality. Okay. I'm not really sure there, but okay. And then, I believe I'm, okay, now that's where I was at. And I was down to these boxes. Oh, that's cool. It's a coffee cup. It's got a J on it. Oh, and a Christmas tree. A Hot Wheels Christmas tree. That's cool. Hey, that's super cool. I'll have to save that for Christmas time. Dang, that's pretty cool. Mugs and designs. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Looks like there's another one here. It must be a 
Must be a uh, two pack, a, a, a two of them. Yep, it's another one. Oh, that's cool. Uh, check that out. Ain't that cool? Oh, shoot. Oh, I can't use that one. I'm going to leave that one sitting up here. Oh, that's awesome. I got to get this custom sent off for that guy anyway, or this super sent off anyway. There, look at that. That's going to be right there. Sweet. That's too cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do we got here? Got... Oh, looks like you did send a car. I don't know what we got here. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh, I think that's the ch I'm wondering why it's in a protector because that's the chase yeah that's the chase check it out now I don't mind these kind of chases I like these kind of chases I don't care for them ugly green wheel we're gonna call that a rare no what you need to call that is dog ass ugly now this is cool look at that now that's a chase See, if all chases were down to earth, I wouldn't mind having them. But I'm going to throw white wheels on it and call it a white light. Oh, I'm going to throw green wheels on it. Call it green wheels. Yeah, it's ugly. That's awesome. Sweet. Dang, thanks, buddy. That's cool. Yeah, this is a... I still haven't found that spoon, buddy. Been trying to find that spoon, Mr. Jersey Dazzle. Jersey Devil, um, haven't found it. Um, just, just haven't. And uh, but if I ever see it, I'll grab it. But yeah, it's the one with this is set with the spoon. But sweet, that's cool. Beautiful car too. Ninety-eight Toyota Alteza. Dang, that is sweet. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. I appreciate all that stuff. Oh, a bunch of peanuts. Get rid of the peanuts. They work good. And of course, his thing comes all wrapped up in bubble wrap. <laughs> and a big thick box and bubble wrap. I'll have to pull that off of there because I'm going to throw it away. The box, I'll... I don't know if I'll use the box or not. Just depends. Golly, man. Got that baby on there. Jeez. Oh, looks like it's kind of taped in spots. I see. No wonder. No wonder it wouldn't just slide off of there. It's taped everywhere. Be able to I'll probably cut some of that bubble wrap out of there. I'll save that in case I can cut some of that bubble wrap out of there. Yeah, I don't think I'll probably use the box. But... Uh, okay, I got all kinds of boxes to get rid of. All right, sweet. That's too cool. Thank you, Mr. Spahar and Mrs. Spahar. Uh, Mary Ann. And, uh, Appreciate that. Yeah, those are too cool. I'll take this other one upstairs. And uh, I'll let them snack on all this stuff. And, um, tell you what, I've got a little bit of time. I'm going to do, um, <laughs> that was Mr. Spahar. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Um, 
yeah, my screws to mount that in there, eh, eighth inch short. I ordered some 256 by one inch. I had three quarter, but it stops a little short, so I got some one inch. They're supposed to be coming today. They should be here anytime I can screw that down. But um, yeah, we'll do the, okay, here's the deal, guys. I know I've been saying this, and I've been messing it up, but this is what we're going to do. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Oh shoot, hold on. Okay, I'm not gonna go back and again. I haven't gave away that Boulevard set. I keep, I, 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 sh I should guess I, I want you guys to comment, and you always do, but I, I don't want you to, I, I'm, I'm not trying to mislead you, but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pick the comment out of this video. So y'all comment in this video, and then tomorrow or whatever, the next video, whenever I do a, a drawing, because I want to try to wipe out the drawings I got ready this coming week. Maybe, maybe Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, because I think I got three ready. And, um... Or something like that Monday Wednesday Friday but anyway the very next one when we do the the pop race because that's the one we're gonna do next the giveaway I'm gonna give away the Boulevard set to somebody out of the comments of this video so leave your comments in this video but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that tomorrow or Tuesday but if the next video I do is gonna be those pop race giveaway hopefully and then we're gonna do that Boulevard set but also, we're going to read the comments from the last Chucky video. And I see t Mr. Tom Brown right off the bat. And for some reason, didn't you say something about you needed the yellow Porsche from the Boulevard set? Seems like I've seen that somewhere. If so, leave that in your comment because I have one left I'll save for you. And uh, from Mr. Bruce again. And um, uh, Mr. Bruce also... Uh, Mr. Neil Cummings just got a package I sent to him and it had some boulevards, a couple boulevards from you that you sent. He said to make sure to tell you thank you. So thank you, Mr. Bruce, like always. And uh, so now here we go. We're going to go through these comments and then bust on out. I, I, I'm, I'm so buried in customs again. Um, Black Wolf Customs, I was supposed to do his custom he get he sent it to me two Christmases ago. Now I didn't ask for it. I didn't I didn't volunteer to do him a custom. He sent me some customs and then he sent me a car and said, "Hey, would you do this? Would you customize this for me?" And um, I you know I was just sure you know, but I just never got to it. I it got buried under over there, and um, but it's going to be done probably tomorrow. Maybe the next day. No, it won't be tomorrow. I've got to clear it tomorrow. So sometime this week, he's finally going to get his car. And um, now his truck. Now it ain't... It ain't what he's probably thinking, but I don't know. I'll go ahead and show the motorcycle. I painted up the motorcycle. It's even got monster decals on it. And look at them. Speedometer lenses. And yes... They're really, oh, you probably can't see it. They're really gauges. Compliments. They're decal gauges. Itty bitty. You see how small they are? Those are, and they're, de they're gauges. They got needles on them and, and numbers. That is the work of Jeff at WW Replicas. That is how badass that guy is in making decals. Yeah, I haven't used them anywhere yet. And I was like, man, those would be perfect to put on that motorcycle. So I did. And I painted this up. Hold on, guys. Let me show you before I get to these comments. Just like this. It's pretty close to that bike. It's really close to that bike. I didn't add all the extra black up top because it's not exactly that bike. The fairing is a little bit different. But it's pretty close to that bike. I even got turn signals on the front. Brake lights on the back. Turn signals. I'll have to admit, I really thought this thing was going to be a booger to do when I first seen it. But 
um, with my trusty old magnifying glass and my little paintbrush and a little needle here and there, I was able to do a pretty good paint job on that. And that goes in the bed of the truck. So anyway, I'll show you that. I ain't going to show you the rest. So now let's get to these comments. But anyway, I got more and more customs to get done now and I'm going to start rolling through the list and I'm going to definitely get something for Wayne Parker and NASCAR guy for sure. And there's a couple of you other guys. I never do mention you, but I haven't forgot about you. Anyway, right off the bat, Tom Brown. Awesome custom Prez. Love the little Chucky inside. Yeah, that's cool. I love that truck, man. It really do. I've, you know, my granddaughter said, do you make these for you as well? Do you make one for you? You know, I don't. I was, but I don't. And I think it's because I know I can just make myself one whenever I want. And um, I think that's why. I just I just have fun making them and letting other people get them or, or glad other people get them. I don't know. But yeah, I can make it for myself anytime I want. And uh, anyway, Froggy Geezer. Another killer custom. Literally. LOL. Love it. Got lucky and got in on the drawing. Good luck to everyone who got in on a sticker drawing. Yeah, good luck. Congratulations, buddy, and good luck to you. And again, guys, I, I, I know only one person can win, and it sucks when you buy a lot of stickers if you don't win, or period. But, I mean, I appreciate the support and all, and, I mean, somebody is going to get it, and they're going to get it cheaper than if they would have bought it from me. And uh, so... Um, you know, I mean, congratulations and good luck to all of you. I can't pick who, who's going to win, so I'm just giving you all good luck. Um, Simple Man Mustang Diecast. Chucky, Chucky is cruising around in one sweet ride. Have a great weekend, everyone. Right on, brother. Appreciate it. Diecast Clown. Good old buddy Diecast Clown. The Diecast Picasso. Simply amazing. Thanks for all that you do for the Diecast community. Oh, thanks, buddy. Glad you like it. And I don't, I sure. I mean, I appreciate. It. I don't. I mean, I'm not. We're all doing this, buddy. You included. <laughs> uh, many Stangs replied to him. Perfect name. <laughs> thanks. Diecast Picasso. Strictly diecast. Oh, Jake. One of them trucks is his. Number one. Man, you are the diecast horror master, James. That panel truck looks fantastic. And if you do any more, I'd be interested in one for sure. Like I said, I'd love to have a whole horror collection from you. <laughs> have a great weekend, brother. Yeah, those prices, I told him on that. Those, they really, um, and I have enough to do three more Chuckies, I think, and some Freddies and a Jason. I got to get some castings, though, for the Chuckies because of the windshield. I don't have the tinted. The ones I got are green, and they work for Jason. But, for instance, that Jason truck I just did there, this one, it would it would sell for 100 bucks. I mean, the 3D parts are hard to get now. The tires, all of it just adds up, and it's a, it's a bit of work. Um, that's a $100 truck. And, like I said, I have three more decals for it. I do have some suburb of the Suburbans. Um, I have one that's opened over there. And Diecast Clown said he's going to send me three that I could use. But I like that one better. Um, and um, Chucky, I, like I told him, Chucky would be 85 bucks. And really, okay, Pennywise, I could do that for $75. That same Pennywise you saw. Um, but, because um, it doesn't have a bunch of 3D parts on it. Let me see if I can pop it open here. Oh, this is that one I told you guys about. It's real hard. Whoever wins Pennywise, don't forget. Use a, keep your hands on it so you don't drop it. And use something to pry it open. Because it's a tight fit. But yeah, Pennywise. I can do that one for about $75. Um, I have a few of the engines left, but I don't have any of these big ones. You may not have noticed, but the one in Jason is just slightly smaller. I mean, maybe a eighth of an inch. You can't hardly tell. But I have a few of those I can still use. Rodney still ain't got back to me, so I don't know. 
But yeah, I can do this one for about $75, case and everything. And, um, but now Chucky, Chucky is $85. And it's really just because it cost me $10 um, for the Chucky guy. Cost me um, $10. Oh my gosh. Like I said, you got to be careful with them, guys, or they'll, you don't want to mess up the casting. So I just kind of go gentle. But because it, it cost me $10 just to get the Chucky doll. I probably, I should let these air out until I get ready to ship them. Just so the, they can breathe a little better. That's what I should do. I think after this video, I'll do that. I'll take them over there and open them up. And, uh, and so, yeah, that's why 85. And so I have a few more Chuckies I can do, but I got to get the panel van with the tinted glass. Um, and then, and like I said, they'd be 85. Pennywise, I can do a couple more of those, and they'd be 75. Um, but this Jason, all done up like that, and that's really cheap. It would be a hundred bucks, and uh, in case I was selling them, and I do already have somebody who wants a Jason. I think Mr. Rudy Herrera wants a Pennywise and a Chucky, so they're already going quick. And um, I'm kind of scrubbing my old list. Not really. I'm going to go through it and check with the people and see if they still wanted some of the older customs I used to do. Like Mr. Deavers, I did see your comment about your Gulf. I didn't forget about your Gulf gasser. Um, I don't have the baby blue color. Um, I was going to try to find a light blue uh, metal cast, but I'm not sure if they make a light blue metal cast. Maybe if Derek sees this video, he can comment and tell me. Because the only metal cast I've seen is a darker blue. And, um, but I don't know if you want a darker blue and I know you just wanted the basic vet done up in the Gulf livery. Um, but I was going to cut the top of the engine off and at least put a top blower of, of a better looking engine. But no, I didn't forget you. So I know you you still want yours, but there's some that may not want them. But anyway, I'm going to get my list redone and uh, go from there. So anyway, that's, that's where you'll have the prices for anybody because a lot of people have been asking me about them. And that's and I think that's cheap because, I mean, people, uh, you guys know it's cheap if you get online. I'm, and I've seen guys, they're not even doing half of that work and selling them for $100. And, I mean, that is, but, that, you know, that's them. It's not me. I, I do a little more than that. Jersey Devil, Killer Custom. I love these horror themes. Thanks, buddy. Burn C. Killer Chucky Custom. That shine looks so good. See, I won't have any way to hold it up there, Rudy. I would hold it up there so you could be looking at them. Um, dang it. Yeah, I guess you're stuck here just staring at me. I should. I need to figure that out. I need to get a better way to do that. Shine looks so good. Cool streak with the horror-themed rides. I'm sure this one will sell out quickly. Yeah, it sold out pretty quick. Thanks, buddy. Richard Harrison. Thank you for another awesome upload. I could sit and watch you show those customs all day long. Thank you for all you do, Hewitts. Um, you have an awesome day, sir. Keep on keeping on, my friend. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Oh, Kevin Kennedy replied to him. What a cool custom. I got in on this sticker drawing as well as the Pennywise drawing. Fingers crossed on both. What a collection to start off. Of, of movie slasher icons also if no one has claimed the third drag truck i would love to be considered in the mix for it right on brother yeah eddie p is supposed to buy that um uh if you're talking about the green 62 custom i did that was the only one i had left um eddie p is supposed to buy that so um but let me see if there's any way i could gently Maybe oh man, it would have to be way up there. Golly, I hope I'm afraid it will fall. I sure hope it won't fall. Man, I 
I'm kind of afraid to set that up there. No, nah, I can't do it. Sorry, buddy. I was going to try to put that up there so you can look at it, but I'm going to have to figure out another way to do that if I'm going to be talking so you guys don't have to sit here and stare at me. Um, uh, now, Mr. Pruce. Wow, another outstanding custom. You did it once again. Design, color, and decals are awesome. Chucky looks spooky in the truck. Yeah, he does. I like the decal on the roof. Good luck, everyone. Good luck to everyone on those upcoming drawings. Have a great weekend. You too, buddy. Good luck to you as well, buddy. Jack Miller. Wow, love that wagon. Absolutely fire. I need to know the secret clear coat recipe. I'd sure love to get a collection going on the horror customs. Well done, James Hewitt's for president. You have my vote. <laughs> right on, buddy. I the these I, I'm probably gonna switch and give 1K clear a try. People keep praising it. I haven't used it. I use glaze. I don't use lacquer or the other. I use glaze. And and um the reason I, I like it is because it doesn't matter if it's enamel. It doesn't matter uh, what the paint is. I can still put the glaze on there without it messing up my paint. Um, sometimes when you're using lacquer or something, you got to really be careful, especially if you're putting the lacquer over enamel. It'll just wrinkle up your paint, and you're like, oh, man, I just screwed that whole thing up. So I've been using glaze, and that's what gives me that gloss. And uh, But, yeah, I thought about trying out some of that 1K clear because everybody keeps praising it. But, yeah, that's all it is, buddy. Bunker Diecast, awesome. Another sweet custom James. Happy Friday, brother. Same to you, buddy. Gary Gabbard, sweet ride, bro. Okay, I'll go there and check it out. Appreciate the info. Peace out. Oh, yeah, I was telling him about the... Uh, where to get the deals. Yeah, man, when the video comes on, it usually will say, like this one, it's going to have a thumbnail. Stickers at hewittsdiecast.com. Sticker number seven. That's where you go. You go to hewittsdiecast.com. Usually right there when it comes up, you're going to see a picture of that truck. Just touch the picture. It'll take you straight to the sticker. Get your stickers, put them in your cart, and pay for it. Um, and yeah, they go quick. They, they and it, You can pay through PayPal, credit card, whatever. Just hit the pay, you know, it'll handle it. And, um, but yeah, they do go pretty quick. And, um, uh, so, you know, trying to get, to get it later is, they're usually gone. Sorry, but Mr. Garcia, awesome custom James. Can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, I screwed that up, buddy. Make sure you comment on this video. Cause I'm going to give away that Boulevard set in the next video from this one comments in this one. Eddie, Simple Customs. Thanks for the ride. 150% correct. I don't know what I was correct about, but I appreciate it, buddy. Ford Fan Diecast. Another great one. Chuck is a good choice. Friends till the end. Thanks, buddy. Rat Black. Another nice one, James. Thanks, Rat. Dane Self. Sweet Custom. Right on. Thanks, buddy. Mr. Jefferson Jeffrey. Sweet Custom. We all adore that lovable ginger. Yeah. Yeah, my my oldest daughter hated Chucky. Never did like Chucky. Still don't like Chucky to this day. Anyway, um, Eddie Tapia. Very nice Chucky custom. Just don't look his way. <laughs> Nothing but fire coming out of Hewitt's garage. Right on, brother. Appreciate it. Washi DC Garage. Chucky, Demon Child. Hell yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Visa Viva decals. Cheers, Huey. <laughs> yeah, you bet, buddy. Yeah, mine, I don't know. Um, I did see something where uh old man diecast said, Oh, you gotta spray clear on them. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Not these. Um, if somebody told you that, I don't think I would trust them because that's not true. Well, Mod My Ride even told me, no, don't spray clear on these. These are what I call reverse. See, they're backwards. That's the part that lays against the paint. So I try to keep my hands off of it because that's the part that's going on your car. I like the other ones that I slide it off and it's on the car. So the other side of this is really nice looking. Now, I have had some decals that I they suggest that I clear coat it over first, but I don't... Um, I, I, usually the only time I've ever seen that you needed to coat it was when you... The ink was on top, and it was because the ink 
wasn't water, you know, it would melt in the, it'll wash away in the water. So that's the only reason I've ever seen where you would clear coat a, a decal. Other than that, there is no reason that I could think of to, de to, to clear coat a decal. And so these don't, I don't clear coat these. And Mod My Ride said, no, nah, I don't clear coat it. You just put it on opposite. But yeah, they suck. They, they're a pain in the butt. Um, they, they don't like to stick good. I have to use Microsoft to make sure that they stick. Um, which is fine, you know, but, well, you know, that's fine. But, um, they, depends. Um, like, oh, which one was it? On the, I don't know what it is about the paints, but some paints, once it, I try to lay it in right where I need it because some of these don't like to move. They stick immediately. And if you try to move them, the paint comes, the, the, the ink comes off the, the paper. Some of them, it will slide around, these reverse ones. All my other decals that are not reversed, you could slide them around, whatever. Get them wet, but, but some of them don't like to slide around. Some of them, for example, the Michael Myers I just did with the white paint, and that, those things will just slide everywhere. It's hard to get them to stop moving and stay there. So I have to soak them in the red uh, Microsoft, get them where I want them, get them, hope them they're laying down, and just soak them. I mean, soak them with that Microsoft and let it let it start laying itself down and then dab it with a Q-tip. Constantly dab it until it stays and it just melts into it. Otherwise, they just won't stay on there. So, yeah, that's the thing. Well, I don't really care for them. But Mod My Ride has pretty much just went to that. I mean, unless you're getting the old ones he's had before, almost all of his new stuff is reversed or whatever you want to call it. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's what I was talking about with those. So, yeah, I don't know if you got some different ones, Old Man Diecast or what, but mine, you're not supposed to clear coat these. Lance Graham. That's awesome. Custom Hewitt's. Right on, buddy. Mini stangs. So fine. And dang it, number four I missed out on. Dang it, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll try to send you a text right after this video and let you know that it's up. I don't know. I don't know how else to let people know. Because um, they just, they did seem to go quick. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. I don't know. And... As far as customs up on my website, this is probably the last one for a bit because I need to get some other cars done for people that are buying them. And I got to get one for Wayne Parker and NASCAR guy. And there's a couple other guys in here I want to get, get one built for. They're freebies. And uh, I got to get those caught up. But I just spit out a bunch of them for the uh, for the sticker drawings because people kept on ask, wanting them, but wanting them over and over. So I just did that real quick. So anyway. Um, Brian Johnston, Chucky looks sweet, James. Right on. Thanks, buddy. Rudy Herrera. Let me see. Oh, yeah, he's the one that wants a Pennywise and a Chucky so far. He may even want a Jason when he sees that. Was able to buy the last stickers. Just made my Friday. That Chucky would look real nice next to my Michael Myers. Put me on the list, Chucky Diecast. Let's not forget the Pennywise. <laughs> I've been super busy with life. Just turn on my notification so I don't miss the sticker drawings for the future customs. Good luck to everyone that enter the drawing number eight. Thanks, buddy. You bet. I will put you down for one each of those. Elite Speed Diecast. I need Chucky and Micah Myers. I'll be happy to pay for them full price. Gnarly, brother. Um... Yeah, Michael Myers was a hundred dollar truck, and uh, like I said, Chucky was eighty five, and um, the only really the extra that was added on the Michael Myers was the pumpkin deal in the back, and uh, all the extra work. I don't have to do all that grinding to get the wheels to fit on Chucky, because um, they come with plenty of room for them fat wheels, um, but for Michael Myers, I got to put my own wheels and those wheels don't fit. You got to cut that out. Um, uh, getting big wheels like that on there 
is the chore, guys, and not rub. I mean, those are the big ones. Uh, what, 12 millimeter? They're up under there. And they don't rub. They spin free as can be. So, yeah, let me know, man, because they're going to go quick. Um, appreciate it. Gary Slintz, awesome again. Love the Chucky doll. Yeah, it worked out perfect. He looks good in there, too. Um, Rico Bobby, Chucky's in love. Chucky's in love. That dude's always got a song in his head, don't he? That's 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 cool. Dane Self, awesome. Got my sticker. Right on. Congrats, buddy. Good luck. I was going to say when I saw your comment earlier, I thought you got a sticker. I think you, I think you got one, maybe two. And you know, I can't tell you how many times one of my customs has been won by Jake. That dude's got the best luck at that. I think he's won two of my. No, he won an No. 64, that really nice No. 64, and he only bought one or two stickers that time. And then my custom uh, wastelands uh, gasland build. I'm pretty sure he bought one sticker on that and one. So he's been pretty lucky with that. So good luck, buddy. Um, old man diecast. I've been asking around about the reverse decals as well. You're supposed to clear coat them first and let them dry for 24 hours. Then use, I am like, how do they stick then if you they're clear coated? Exactly, buddy. I don't clear coat them. I'm um, Gary Slintz. I never clear coated the ones I used, but I only used one set so far they worked fine yeah i mean if you if you're ready for what they're gonna do then you're prepared to handle it like i put all the michael myers on fine because i already knew what they were about to do i was a bit surprised on my um uh, pennywise i stuck it on there on the black paint and boom it wouldn't move and and i needed it to move because it was off just a little bit so i, I got it sopping wet again with the uh I mean, this was immediate with the red Microsaw, and I got it to where I could move it just a little bit and get it lined up. And then it laid on down and stayed. Um, but I was really surprised. I was like, what the heck is the deal with that? And then um, when I put them on the Chucky on the black, I don't know if it's the black lacquer or what, stuck to it as well. So I, I just was prepared by the time I got to it, and I got it nice and wet before I laid it on there. And um, But if you're prepared for it, they're a little easier to work with, but definitely not as forgiving as the regular deals. But no, I didn't clear coat any of them. I don't understand how that would even work. And um, like I said, the only decals I've ever seen that you should clear coat is ones that, for example, if I was to go print some with a normal printer up there, when, the, when it comes out on the decal sheet, it suggests that you clear coat because the ink will just wash away when you stick it in there. Um, but uh, other than that, I don't know, man. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not playing. I'm not spraying no clear on there. Mr. Tom Ellingson, here's Chucky. Oh uh, yeah, you, yours is done. Yours is the truck I showed, buddy. I'll send you the invoice whenever you're ready. Um, Cecil's die cast, cool, brother. Right on. Pontiac Crest. Last to the show again, but Chucky is a sweet one. Right on. Thanks, buddy. Mr. Joe Loves, tra traveling in a fried out combi on a hippie trail, head full of zombies. <laughs> Another song. Right on, brother. Dang it. I just did that again. Neil Cummins, had to stop vid, went and went to the site and grabbed stickers for this. Checked on Pennywise, was sold out. So bought a couple more for Chuck. That is one killer custom, James. Good luck to all. Right on, brother. Thanks. Um, yeah, I haven't printed out the uh, invoices for the past two Pennywise and Chucky yet. So that's why I haven't sent anything off. Um, dang printer. I think I'm going to buy a new one that uses uh, liquid ink. But the cartridge, it's like it, once you start using it, if it sits there for just a week, without being it's like it wants to dry up and then so anyway basically i had to go buy uh two new inks yesterday my daughter picked them up for me so i got them now i can go print um nascar guy happy friday right on brother mike dyson only three left guys <coughs> mike dyson if by some chance i win the boulevard set spin again and let someone else have it i'm not interested in the cars in that set 
And if the set has the GMC Cyclone truck, I already have it. Nice 55 panel. Peace out. Right on, brother. The Bearded Welder. One word. Beautiful. A good reason for me not to start YouTube channel. People he keep asking the same thing over and over. I am sarcastic if that should happen to me. <laughs> I hear you. Right on, brother. Yeah, it's just, you know... It, Mr. Trevor Samuda. Okay, I had a premonition. Chucky is mine. No need for a drawing. You have my address. Just ship it. Peace. Right on, brother. You know, now I did just send something to your stickers. And I noticed that the city's different. It was that a mistake? Because I put the new one down. But that city isn't the city that it used to have on there. Did you rename your city or something? Because, hope that wasn't a mistake, because that's where I sent it. I was like, that ain't where it used to go. I've never put that city on there. But anyway, I don't want to say what it was, but you know what it was. Anyway, that was the end of it, guys. Um, so, there you go. And, uh, um, thanks again for all the stuff, and... I'll try to get this video up so you guys can uh, get your comments in there because I'm going to use this video. Instead of saying I don't know which video I'm going to use, I'm going to use this video to give away that Boulevard set. I don't know if I'm doing the drawing tomorrow or Tuesday, but we're doing the Pop Race drawing next. I'm giving away the Pop Race cars, and in that video, I will pick the comment out of here to give away that boulevard set so again mr tom brown let me know was it you that said you needed that yellow porsche for some reason i think you said orange but i don't know of an orange porsche so i'm thinking it must be that yellow one and you're just calling it orange or maybe it looks orange to you i don't know um but uh let me know and I don't know if there was somebody else I asked something of. I'll be looking for your answer too. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I get to a, I need to go to work tomorrow, but you leaving? Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. Bye, Papa. Bye-bye. I love you. Yeah. Um, but it's supposed to snow real, some 90% chance of snow and I still got that darn car. I didn't get something else yet. So I'm kind of, but, I mean, the temp's supposed to be like 35 degrees, so it shouldn't be sticking as far as I'm concerned. So, we'll see what happens. But, anyway, I'm going to have to get me a 4x4 four four or something. All-wheel drive. I don't know. I'm going to do something. Anyway, y'all take it easy. Thanks again, Mr. Spahar and Mrs. Spahar. Those mugs are awesome. This chase is awesome. Um, these kids are going to suck this stuff up. I'll have to get back with you on the Vegemite. Um I'll, uh, if nothing else, it's something cool to set on a shelf and say, yeah, we got Vegemite. But yeah, who knows? I may like it. I don't know. So again, y'all take it easy. And again, sorry guys, I let you down on all them drawings and stuff. I, man, I get buried in these like now. It's it's coming up on what, 3, 3.30? I've been down here since 5 in the morning every day now. When I come down here after work, I come down here, and before I know it, the whole day is just cooked by trying to get these things done. And, um, but that's just, that's why I said I forgot how much fun it was doing this stuff. And, uh, Mr. Herrera, I'm going to try to figure out a way to do that so that, um, next time I'm reading comments, okay, guys, just in case this turns off, peace later. But I'm going to try something real quick and see. Maybe I could, if I can swap my camera and not lose anything, maybe next time I could set the car up back there, swap my camera, let you look at it while I read comments. Let's just try that real quick. Oh, it did work. Yeah, you're still there. Oh, look, Black Wolf Customs. I got his case sitting there. Yeah, so I can just spin it around. This is my shelf with a lot of my stuff. Okay, so I can get something set up there, set it up right around here, 
put my turntable on it and then set my car there so it can spin while I'm talking to you. Turn around. Oh, yeah, there I'm there. That's what I'm going to do, Mr. Herrera. Good idea, buddy. So that's what I'll do, guys. I'll try to get it to where so you don't have to stare at me. I can put my custom up there or something. I can do something so you can not have to look at me. If you even hang around. And, uh, oh, yeah, I also ordered me some more of these stickers. Ordered another batch. They went quick. Anybody else need some, just let me know. They should be coming, too, because I got all the stickers. I ordered Pennywise. Or, I'm sorry. <coughs> the 62 Chevy. Here, I'll just show you what they look like. The actual sticker. Okay, there is the Chucky sticker. There's the 62 sticker. And there is the Jason sticker. These are the proofs they send me, and then I approve it or not. And uh, they all look good, so those will be coming in. So, yeah. We got some new stickers finally. I finally got new stickers, but uh, I'll have to get more because that's all I got was three, three customs so far. But anyway, um, maybe I'll take a picture of that Michael, one of these Michael Myers. I think I'll use yours, Jake. I'm gonna use yours and get some pictures of that on a white deal, just in case I make some stickers of that. That would be a good one to have stickers for. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let you guys go. Peace. Outro.